Hi everyone, welcome to sketching. Uh, this is day 25 now of my sketching challenge and it's also the last day of 2017 so I hope you've got your New Year's resolutions all set and I hope on the top of your list is the 5 minute sketching challenge that I've got. <laughs> I'm only joking but I hope you do really do try out this um, challenge uh, as a New Year's uh, resolution uh, because I, I really think it's going to help you out especially if you want to get back into art or you know if uh, you've, you want to start in art and uh, you know you don't know where to start it really really will help so today I'm drawing um, a, a nice little almond slice that I had at Costa Coffee with my family today <laughs> it's one of my favorite little dessert type things really really nice and I thought you know what let's just take a quick picture of it at the cafe it had so much texture on it so, so many varying colors I thought this would be a really nice one um, Probably not brilliant to do this on the five, well, not five minute, on the sketching challenge because there is a lot of work involved to get getting this right. Um, again, it's not a finished piece that I've done, uh, so I, I guess the overall effect was pretty good. It was quite good. So yeah, so today what I did was I decided that I'm going to use a different brush again, um, testing out all the brushes on Procreate. Um, and I went with the water brush, um, a really nice brush. I mean, it kind of mimics uh, like a water pen. I'm not sure if you ever used a water pen in traditional art, but I use uh, watercolour and a lot of different kind of tools for watercolour. And one of those tools that I use is, is a water pen brush uh, where you kind of fill in the um, end of the um, brush with water and you just have this nice little fine tip uh, that slowly releases the water uh, on your uh, watercolour pads. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll be going through a lot of these reviews of the materials that I use in 2018. So yeah, so today I decided to kind of pretty much use the water brush on this entire painting. Um, I went in really, really dark to block out the colours and put the red in of the jam and all I did was then, slowly, as soon as I blocked out all the shapes and colours, I just went in, I just really reduced the um, shape of the head size of the water brush and just went in and started adding in a lot of texture using random lines for where the cakey part of this um, uh, dessert is to really really bring out that you know to differing colors and contrasts of the texture that's here uh, and then I just went in and did cross hatching with the uh, technical pencil I think it was a 6b pencil from the pencil set um, uh, just to kind of again bring out those random shapes and add a little bit of tone and texture to like the overall composition of this piece again this this is working really nice using um, you know flat colors from the start and then going in with detail you using cross hatching, using kind of stippling and kind of scribbling effects. It works out really nice, especially in the style that I, I draw. Uh, it kind of works really, really well. And again, one of the advantages of digital is you can do it in any order that you want because you're working on different layers. I mean, you don't have to work on different layers. You can kind of work on one layer if you want. But I, I think to really utilize the power of digital, um, I think working on you know different layers is a massive advantage. And it kind of helps bring your technique out. It kind of give you a different perspective on things um, and then it will effectively really help you in your traditional art if that's what you want to do. I mean, by no means am I going to just be doing digital art, you know, going forward, um, you know, in my kind of uh, work that I do. I do both side by side. So in a lot of my graphic design work, everything is digital. But in my artwork, where I do paintings, uh, professional paintings, I, I do it on traditional. Uh, but I kind of think that both go hand in hand uh, because you kind of really learn a lot from the digital um, aspect purely because you've got so much variety and you've got unlimited color. Uh, and kind of really unlimited tools uh, effectively and then when you bring this into your traditional you can sometimes it can really really help uh, you know you, you you start a project off in a different way whereas pref before you may have started in a way that didn't work or slowed you down it really opens up so much to you uh, so yeah so all I'm doing now is I'm just kind of cleaning up the edges with the eraser and now I'm going in with another layer and with a round brush and a reduced opacity. I'm just adding in these almond uh, slices, these uh, chips of almond. Um, and I decided to just, go, you just really needed to go in flat with this. If you are following me on this and doing these drawings, I did a lot of texture on the actual cakey spongy part. And with the almond, it's because it's, uh, you know, the tech, there's not much texture on it. It's very smooth. I just went on with another layer and went in quite opaque uh, and then slowly built in the um, uh, uh, the kind of texture on those almonds. It didn't really 
really need to build in too much on this. It's because they're so smooth uh, compared to the uh, you know the fluffiness of the crumble that's underneath. Uh, so yeah, so if you're trying this out, I would suggest doing the almonds right at the end and just creating your texture first on the uh, on the cake part, and then just going on with the almonds and then adding some shadows, which is what I'm doing right now underneath each uh, kind of layer of almond piece that you have. And the water, the round brush works really well because you get that jagged edge on the edge, and that's how the uh, almonds are. They're not perfectly smooth on the edges, and yeah, it worked really really nice. I mean. In the end of the day, it's however you want to tackle a drawing. Go for it. I mean, if if you do again, if you're doing this uh, on digital, there's just so many different ways of doing it. Uh, and if you're doing this on tr the traditional way, where you've got just a pen and paper or some watercolors or some inks, then you can tackle it in whichever order suits you. But really, give this one a go. I think this is a good one to try out because there's a lot of varying colors in this. There's a lot of varying textures in it, and you know you can really, really drill down to the detail. I mean, I think this one took me around about. Four 45 minutes to complete uh, but I, I probably need at least three to four hours on something like this if I was going to do a proper uh, you know painting of it um, really to get out the textures that I wanted that I'd be happy with um, but generally yeah the, the effect was pretty good it was quite nice so all I'm doing now is going in with the gel pen to highlight the edges of the almonds and then I just went in with a technical pen from the ink set again to just come up with some more highlights on the um, surface and edge of this uh, uh, dessert, this almond slice and then just where that jam area is to really bring out those reflections of that jam where the light was hitting um, to like go in opaque first like really really low opacity and then go in with a full colour um, to really bring out that you know changing contrast and all I'm doing now is just adding a stippling effect where I'm just adding dots, varying, varying shapes of dots uh, using that same brush to really really bring out some texture and adding some orange with the, with the darts and whites so yeah overall I was quite happy with the uh, with the results so uh, I really hope you're trying out this challenge and I hope you do make um, uh, this 30 day sketch challenge a, uh, a new year's resolution for yourself and let me know how it goes uh, in the comments below and hopefully soon I shall be uploading all these images that I use that I take on this challenge for you to f download for free and use to kind of improve your art for references it, you know i'm gonna make it available to everybody because i really want people to try this out and then let me know how they're going with this um so yeah so i, I hope you enjoy this video uh thanks so much for your time and your help and your support um please give the video a thumbs up and please also subscribe to the channel and please also share the channel with others so that we can learn from each other and hopefully i shall see you in the new year on the next one so thanks so much for your time again take care of yourself happy new year and peace